Excel's group by and pivot by functions are really, really game changing. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use them with percent of total with all sorts of scenarios, like percent of parent total, percent of row total, percent of total total, all that stuff. My name is David Nyman, and I love talking about the new stuff. So let's get started. By the way, if you want to download a copy of this workbook, you can look at the description below this video and get a link to it and follow along. All right, let's go. All right, so let me move this out the way. Cut and paste, control X, control V. So here I'm going to write equals group by. I have another video about the basics of group by. This one's going to focus just on the percent of total stuff. So row fields, I'm going to choose just this one. And then comma, then I'm going to choose values to be kids. And then in function, I'm going to do percent of. And this is going to do a sum it up and do a percent of the total. And by default, it's going to give it to me like this. I do need to manually do my percentages, kind of like that. To show this to you in pivot table format, it would be insert pivot table. And then I'm going to choose to place it in an existing worksheet. Let's place it over here. And then I'm going to do city and then kids. And here I'm going to right click and choose show values as percent of grand total, like this. So it's the same numbers as you can see. It, I'm going to do control shift percent to get rid of the decimals. I never like the decimals for percentages. Now here you can do certain other things with the pivot table. So I can do show values as a percent of grand total, column total, row total. Those are only relevant if you have multiple categories in rows and columns. And then you can also do percent of parent row, percent of parent column, percent of parent total, etc. Uh, these other ones, percent difference from percent of, you can't get by default inside the group by function. You can code things with Lambda, but that's something I'm going to cover in another video. Let's look at some other combinations here. Now, what I always suggest is putting the totals yes and show number three like this, because otherwise you don't really know what you're looking at, and I really recommend that. Now, what about if you want to do a hierarchy. Now, all of the other percent of totals, you can only do them in pivot by, and it is a bit counterintuitive because even the percent of parent total for the row, if you have this kind of two thing limit, you can normally create this. If you had a sum or an average, you could create this with group by, but actually for percent of total, you need to actually use pivot by, which is a bit counterintuitive. So let's look at that. So here I'm going to do equals pivot by. And pivot by has four functions which don't have square brackets, which would imply that they are mandatory, but actually they are not mandatory. So I'm going to recreate this one and I'm going to do rows to be these first two columns. If you want non consecutive columns, then I have another video that covers that. I'll link to in the description. And then I have column fields here. I'm going to actually leave it blank because I just want the row fields, as I said. Shows it to you nine square brackets, meaning it's mandatory, but actually it is optional. Values, I'm going to do kids again. And then I'm going to do percent of as the function. Then field headers, I'm going to do yes and show three, which is usually what I do. And then I'm going to do subtotals and grand totals because I have the hierarchy here. Let's see what it looks like so far. It looks like this where I have the percent of the total. If I select them without the totals, these add up to one and the totals add up to one as well. Let's make all of this a percentage like that. Control shift five will do that for you as well. So yeah, so this is just a percent of total total, but I can keep going. You know, if I don't have the subtotals, this makes more sense. But if I do have the subtotals, then they don't actually add up to one anymore. Now let's keep going. So Next we have, here I am going to do the subtotals again, two. I'm going to leave out the sort order stuff. I have other videos about group by pivot by where I go through those in detail. I don't actually have a column, so the next two are not relevant. Filter array, I'm not going to use in this case. And relative to, this is what you need for the percentage. Because here I can say parent row total. And here it's going to do, if I tap four, it's going to do, 8% of the parent. So 8 plus 17 plus 75 equals 100%, gets to that one. And then this one is 52% of the 100. And these ones as well, that's going to be 
36, 64, and zero, that's going to add up to 100%. Perfect. And then here it's going to be 48%. So that's how you can do a percent of parent row in the relative to one. Let me cut and paste this. I'm going to do a percent of row percent of parent total as well. So here I'm going to do equals pivot by. All of the these are pivot by. And I'm going to do row fields. And here I'm going to do this one, just the one. And then I'm going to do column fields to be the city. And I'm going to do values to be kids again. I'm actually using age in this one because that you would only need to do that with average. And as opposed to regular pivot tables, regular pivot tables, you could do average and percent of. But honestly, I find that so confusing. In Excel, percent of is just going to be with a sum function in group by pivot by. So press tab or double click that to lock it in. And then I'm going to do field headers. I, when you do pivot by with rows and columns, I'm going to show you yes, but I actually don't like doing this. I usually do without the headers and I'll show you why in a sec. Uh, this one I'm going to leave as default, leave as default the sort orders and the filter and relative to I'm going to do row totals like this. So one, close my brackets and it's going to be percent of the row. So essentially these all add up to percent. Control shift five will give me those as percentages like that. So 3367, 45, 3618, those add up to 100%. Yeah, so the reason I don't like the headers is because it kind of adds extra rows. I have three rows for the headers, which I don't think I need. Could have been a lot more efficient this way. So I actually prefer for this one just to do the default, which looks like this even though it doesn't say kids on there. So you might have to add it yourself, but I find that to be much more useful. Now relative to, I could also do column totals, which is zero. That is the default. And that will show like this. So here will be 50, 50, 20, 80, et cetera. Yeah. You might need to do control shift percent. I could also do grand total two, and then only all of them together add up to 100% rather than each individual one. Or you can also do parent column. This one only applies if you have a hierarchy for the column. Otherwise, it doesn't really go. To get a hierarchy for the column, I could, if I want to switch it around, so I could do like that one. And then my column fields could be these two. Again, I have another video where I show how to do non-consecutives for columns and the rest I can leave blank like that. It gives me a spill error because it has extra space it needs. So I'm going to insert some blank rows there and now it's going to show it to me like that. It's giving me an error here, which is not an ideal state. Uh, but yeah, that is how you can do it. If you want to replace the errors, you can just wrap this an if error around it. And then you can press a comma value if error. I'm just going to do blank, which is two speech marks like that. And that will get rid of the errors that you might get for that. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that video where I go through the different combinations of percent of totals that you can do using group by and pivot by. My name is David Benayim and I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. I love talking about the new stuff, especially, for example, this group by pivot by stuff. Thanks for watching.